has always been bothering me. And yesterday he had to come to Kisumu to ensure that I am there. And he gave instruction to the airport that they should close the airport for me until I launch this industrial park. I want to thank you, Governor, for that cooperation because really it makes my work easier. When we have a governor who is progressive, a governor who wants to do the best for our people, and the governor who knows that one day after we leave this world, we are going to be remembered by our actions. Governor, I want to tell you for what you are doing today. These people of CIA, I am very sure they will vote for you again. But that is not important. What is important is whether they vote for you or not. Me and you, we have got very high chances of seeing the kingdom of heaven because of what we are doing today. And I'm very, 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 very proud of that. So guys, let us work together to uplift the lives of our people. Hakuna uchaguzi mwaka huu. Na hakuna mwaka ujao. So, can't we keep ourselves busy by focusing on development? Then when the next election comes, we decide now tea time is over, we go back to those other things. And if possible, even those ones, we leave them behind and we forge together as one United Nation. Sitting here, standing here, as a minister in charge of investment, trade and industry. I feel, a chance, I feel a sense of foreboding when I remember the journey that myself, brother James Olengo, Senator Borogindo have come from. On 20th of January 1994, we were here a whole 29 years ago to bury Jaramogi Oginga Odinga, the man who instructed Otieno Kajoan to represent me in court and get an injunction that stopped me from being expelled from the University of Nairobi. And when I came here to bury him, I actually me came to thinking we were coming for a burial until now James Olengo quoted Mark Anthony and told us that he was not coming to bury Oginga. One year later, when we had our first anniversary, the first Teroburu of Jaramogi, I was at Kangoka Jaramogi. And I remember I was sitting next to Oburu, and Oburu had a very long kabuti. That time, Moi, President Moi, had said there is not going to be any live music in that Teroburu. And the leadership of this region was saying, no way. So we were there, and it was getting dark. Ole Seguno Pasajo was there. That time, not as a civilian president, but a former military ruler. And when the music started, I remember it was around 6.30 p.m., Okachi Bigi started playing Sara. And as they say here, no sooner had Okachi Bigi started playing Sara, tear gas was thrown. And I remember Oburu and I, we were helping each other by the cactus at Kango Kajaramogi to escape. From a DC called Kirito Amai. And then we were whisked to safety. We went to a powder farm and Baba prepared for us the best chicken I've ever tasted in this side of the world. That is 28 years ago. Today I'm here as a minister. Orengo is here as a governor of Siaya. Oburo Ginga is here as a senator, and Makamu is an ordinary citizen. <laughs> I told him, go back.